welcome back to a new vlog my name is Opsi. if you're new here thank you for watching and tuning in please subscribe if you're not subscribed you know hit the like button and as usual share it to your friends and your loved ones so actually right now is about almost 11 a.m i mean today is saturday it's a weekend it's almost 11 a.m and i have a lot of things to do today so i decided to vlog i woke up quite early today and i don't even know why that's so unlike me on a weekend <laughs> i woke up around like 7 a.m and i started cleaning so i cleaned my apartment tried to arrange a few stuff like unpack a few things yeah just try to arrange some things and do the dishes and just clean do laundry i'm still doing laundry right now and what i actually wanted to show you guys is i want to unpack my fragrances i know i talked about unpacking my fragrances in my previous video and i actually haven't gotten around to doing it because i don't have a shelf still but for now i'm just going to use my trays as i showed you guys so yeah i have two suitcases to unpack so right now i'm trying to see how i can position this so i can unpack my fragrances so most of my fragrances are in these two small suitcases so i'm gonna unpack them and show you guys the fragrances in my collection okay so guys i had to literally bring out everything before i show you guys the full collection because this is gonna take a while not going to talk about the notes not going to focus on the notes or too much details because if not we're not going to leave here today without further ado let's get started by the way i'm not going to leave these fragrances here because this is the stove and i'm not trying to explode my fragrances so i'm just going to find like different corners to actually keep like different trays because i have like three trays and just i'm going to find another tray to put like the remaining ones that couldn't fit into the trays and just leave them in different cool zones and maybe use one of the cabinets here till i actually get a proper shelf to fix all of them yeah so the first one here obviously this is uh this is the gold fruits one i think i've also had some reviews about these fragrances so i'll just leave all the links in the description box or on the cards so this is our gold fruity just a fruity fragrance you know smells really nice i've actually almost finished it i don't even know if it poured or anything but i know i use this a lot for um i think a home spray or something because i don't really like fruity fragrances but yeah that is actually nice if you like fruity fragrances it actually smells like apples as well okay so the next one here is my baby zara violet blossom which is an amazing fragrance i love this fragrance a lot very inexpensive as you all know zara fragrances this is another one it's called mimosa cloud actually a dupe for ariana grande's cloud which is supposedly a dupe for the baccarat rouge but i think it's more of a dupe for ariana grande's cloud like it smells similar to ariana grande's cloud so what i do with my zara fragrances is i usually use them as room sprays or home fragrance or fresh out of the shower fragrance just because that's how i love to layer my fragrances okay so the next one here is la nuit trezor la folie i think that is a la folie yeah that's the one a la folie i actually prefer this one to the original it's more sensual more musky in my opinion i don't know if there's no of rose in here but it smells really good it lasts a long time on my skin i've had this for a while almost running out now the next one here is my linterdit uh Givenchy. i think this is an intense one obviously i think i have like three of them i have the original i have the intense and i have the rouge which i'll get to Soon. it's very strong i love it a lot projects last a long time on my skin perfect for cool weather because this is how it's because of how strong it is i think this would do well in cooler months but i really like that it's very unique doesn't smell like anything i have smelled before we have intense pepper here by montel we also have um, arabian tonka by montel as well we also have Oud Dream from the same brand, Montel. I really love this fragrance. I have, I don't have anything like this in my collection and I'm so glad I was able to get this. I think I've raved about this fragrance in the past. This is 50 ml and this actually goes a long way. It lasts really, really long. And if you know Montel fragrances, like they actually project and they actually are long lasting. Arabian Tonka is equally nice. I love this fragrance, but this reminds me of gentle fluidity or 
intense cafe i think they, they smell very very similar i mean if i have intense cafe i don't think i would actually get this one because they are very very similar but very nice as well oh dream is one hell of a strong and this is unisex by the way it's one of my most complimented fragrances it's really really nice obviously there's notes of wood in here and of course santa Rea from guerlain very nice everybody has raved about this fragrance i haven't really used a lot of it recently i'm kind of outgrowing it if i do say so myself this is gypsy water from Barredo. this is one of the best from the from the brand in my opinion but my only problem with Barredo is that not most of their fragrances won't last as long on my skin except you're going for the extra the perf perform um collection which is obviously more pricey than these ones here the next one is julia has a gone which i actually just got i think in january i don't remember but definitely i purchased this this year normally i don't like sweet fragrances so i don't even know why i actually bought this one but i actually like it for some reason but i would like to also mix this with something strong it's julia has a gun mm, it's really really nice from barredo as well velvet, velvet haze and honestly this was a blind buy but a feel i actually like it smells like rain and sand <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense that's why i get from it if i actually smell this on my own i'm not sure i would have actually bought it i think it was peer pressure or should i say social media pressure because i saw someone that actually got this fragrance and i was raving about it and i'm like okay you know i'm just gonna buy it it's not bad but it's just not my vibe and also super cedar i think i saw this on temi or tedola's page the very first time i got this fragrance some years ago and i was not disappointed at all my replica jazz club guys i think we all know jazz club is jazz club really nice fragrance unisex stands out and by the fireplace literally smells like the fireplace let's move over to the first tray over here so the first one here is um monaco 01 i know when i did a review about this fragrance <laughs> the guy i think it was lambo if i do remember i will link the video on my in the description box it's not something that stands out to me i think they have better ones in their collection but people have raved about that particular fragrance this is Burberry ha the original one i got tired of it i actually prefer the intense one but this also reminds me of baccarat just a more fruity vibe with more berries blackberries blueberries whatever berries are in there this is alive by hugo boss i actually like this one gives me why it's only brave vibes the original but doesn't smell like that this is a perfect work for it actually pure moss by narciso rodriguez for her which actually smells like pure laundry like very clean fresh musky the next one here is the giorgio amanda Nisi Passion. I think everyone knows <laughs> this one. I don't need to talk too much about it. Perfect for the summertime. Perfect for springtime. Now, this one here is called Versace uh, Dial and Blue, I think. This is Dial and Blue here. And honestly, this was a blind buy and I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really like it. I don't even get the hype. I'll say it's a good work fragrance because it's not so strong in my opinion. Zadik and Voltaire. This is love. Because I have the Zadik and Voltaire, this is how I actually liked the brand so i decided to try out this one which actually smells good this is paco raban um olympia legend i believe this is the legend one i actually want to get the intense because i actually like the original scent more um this is van cleef and appel um, rose rouge mm. it has obviously rose there i think there's patchouli in here as well very very nice the first time i smelled it i couldn't really get my nose off i know a lot of people like the i think it's called vanille something vanille i don't remember from the same brand okay so this one is by jo malon mimosa and cardamom very nice fragrance this is my second bottle i don't know why i, had, I do not even buy a 400 ml well it smells so good this is something i like to smell when i'm going to bed it's just very cozy very milky Key, creamy really really nice wow we have a long way to go guys theory middle uh mirror de majestis i don't know if that makes sense but this is very good very long lasting inexpensive and very strong gives me some arabian vibes this is tom ford velvet orchid really good one this is i think my favorite from the this line from the orchid line yeah this is lancome um 10 lancome idol i think that's the name almost running out now nice fragrance to me but not unique enough sweet fruity fragrance so here is zerjof ebra pura i love this fragrance it's a fruity ooh. to be honest this is how i like to smell like 
in spring this is perfect for spring so this is zara uh, night for home five i think is that it has been discontinued actually a dupe for akara rouge 540 so i don't really talk about this a lot because it's actually discontinued obviously carolina herrera good girl um good one i think this is a lingerie one i actually prefer the one that has the whole bottle black it's more intense for me and i recently got i think i got this last year just before i traveled in december this is the very good girl and this actually is a dupe for the perfumes de mali delina baccarat rouge 540 you already know about this fragrance also from the same brand maison francis i have the gentle fluidity gold it smells like intense a bit like intense cafe what else is here i have the ysl libre intense i've not really used a lot as i thought i would i also have like the vibrant cities from zara this is creatively shanghai elegantly tokyo energetically new york and then i also have some fm fragrances these are like dupes and i think this is a dupe for baccarat rouge also rich woman addictive they actually have restocked in zara so please get your hands on this one because it's really really nice i also have the leather jardine as well link in the description box universal wood also from the same line a collaboration between zara and joe malone magnificently dubai which is equally a collaboration with joe malone from zara the vibrant leather wood from zara smells like creed aventus if you do not know i also have the vibrant leather platinum i actually like this because there's something i don't know if there's amber in here i think there's amber so it makes it be more cool than the vibrant leather wood this is creed royal princess wood i really like this fragrance honestly i have like um the travel size for wood satin mode and uh grand tour this is zara true leather also a for tuscan leather from tom ford this is rose gourmand just a tad bit similar to intense Cafe. red temptation which is supposed to be the gym for baccarat rouge 540 i have amber fusion this is a very good fragrance i think it's actually underrated people don't really speak on this a lot but it's really really good golden decayed which is a dupe for the ysl libre okay this is also my old bottles rose gourmand and i'm almost running out so i had to buy the replacement bottle but oh this is balenciaga flora botanica this is very good for spring and summer it smells very fresh so here we have um chanel uh gabriel essence it actually reminds me of ysl libre it gives me that vibe that subtle vibe but it's really really nice and from chanel i also have number five of course i really love chanel number five like as you can see and if you notice i have a lot of 30 ml or 50 ml because i'm not one to buy full bottle fragrance because you know i have a lot of them so this is coco mademoiselle everybody loves coco mademoiselle from chanel also have channel number five blue but this is good for summer very fresh i really like this fragrance whirling mon whirling intense i've run out of the original and i'm almost running out of this i think this is one fragrance i always want to have in my collection it's really really nice This fragrance from Eisenberg. Honestly, this is a very good fragrance. It's called Yo Jose. Jose. Is that what's called? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this. But this is a very nice fragrance. I actually, the first time I saw it, this is my second bottle. The first time I saw it was in Milan, actually. And I just stumbled on this brand. Anytime I smell this fragrance, it always takes me back. The next one on here is the Poison Girl by Dior. I think everybody knows this fragrance. Sweets you know sensual sexy fragrance my way from Giorgio Armani for me I don't think it's unique enough I have the Gucci Bloom I've had this for a very long time I'll say I've had this since 2018 this is Flower Bomb from Victor Arov everybody raves about this fragrance sweet fragrance um Valentina born in Roma this is an absolute fave as you can see I've used a lot I put a lot of people on this fragrance who like this fragrance a lot the other one is also valentina i don't really remember the name but i think it's yellow or something born in roma yellow or something like that i think um lupita yungo was the face of this particular fragrance i think that's why i even got it we have the limited Juven by Givenchy rouge this is a very nice fragrance i use this a lot in christmas in nigeria i think it's a very nice fragrance for the 
cut weather and this is actually the original in the perform not in the toilet but they actually have the toilet version you see Jojo Armani C intense I don't like this fragrance a lot it smells like soap Jimmy Choo I want you is a very good one as well people don't talk about this fragrance a lot this is a very very nice fragrance Marc Jacobs Decadence I have almost run out of this at the point I was using this every day this is really good vanilla with some green notes this is Elisa girl of now I think if you watch Jeremy fragrance, he always raves about this particular fragrance. Zadi Campotel, this is her, I believe. This smells very creamy, very nice, very coconut. Is it coconutty? This is Alien. Alien by Mugler, actually, yeah. Hypnotic Poison by Gio, but this is the roller ball because I didn't want to buy a full bottle of this one. Stunningly Venice from Zara, also a roller ball. I usually use this type of fragrances as my pocket fragrances or put in my handbag just to touch up or freshen up. Bottega Veneta, not Blue Absolute, very strong, very nice. Unisex, I believe, very nice, fresh as well. Dior Joy, yeah, it's a good fragrance, but it's not something I actually want to own in my collection again. Emperor Amani in love with you sweet 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 fragrance i don't really remember the name of this fragrance but i'm almost out of this fragrance but i really like it the first time i used this i got a lot of shit lot of compliments very inexpensive as well my first fragrance from mac and this is called creme the nude it's other perfume as well casablanca by swiss arabian this is amethyst by lalique it is a dupe for perfumes de mali Meliora. This is Hugo Boss um, The Scent. I don't know if you guys can see it, but The Scent by Hugo Boss. Perfect winter or spring fragrance out. This is Chloe Nomad. This is the original one. This is Versace Crystal Noir. I don't want to bring it out right now. Uh, Swiss Arabian Haram. Haram. I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong, but yeah, this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. This is Mosque Noble. I really love this fragrance a lot. I feel like nobody really talks about this particular one. This is a travel size for Killian. I love Don't Be Shy. I had like four vials of this, so like 40 ml or is it 44 ml? Twin the Mess. This is the original. This is DNG, the only one. I actually like this. It smells a bit powdery, my opinion opinion but it's not that bad the swiss arabian shag have oud we all know it's a do for oud lang oud bouquet by lancome this is narrowly by Givenchy. this was actually my first niche fragrance this might be discontinued i'm not sure because i've never heard anyone talk about this fragrance la belle from jean paul gaultier this is pure royal um fm at 906 this is equally from fm and i think this is a dupe for the victor and ralph bonbon this is pom pomegranate <laughs> pomegranate noir <laughs> good from Jo Malone. This is Jo Malone's Scarlet Poppy. I didn't know I would like it as much. And I'm literally trying to mise it because I'm almost running out. The Mula Mula Rouge Extreme smells like La Capitale from Zendjof. Really good. There's a lot of cherry in there as well. Nishani Ani. We also have Fanny of Flames. You can see the notes on the lower bottom. This is Badel Badia Oud Latafa Oud for Glory. It's a dupe for Oud for Greatness. This is Van Cleef Appel's Bois Dore. So this is the second fragrance I own from this particular brand. It smells like Jo Malone, Mer and Tonka. This is Alien uh, Oud. I think Oud Majestic, I believe. I think it's been discontinued. This is Killian Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme. Um, this is Nasomato Black Afghano. Very intense, smooth sweet Tom Ford uh, Noir. I love this. There's coffee in there. Tom Ford uh, Metallic Killian Angel Share. I love this fragrance a lot. I love the packaging. I love the bottle. Kiali uh, Invite Only Amber 23 also reminds me of the Angel Share by Killian. The dry down is very similar. Kiali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. Very nice fragrance. I also own the Parfums de Mali Kalan. I feel like this is one unique fragrance people don't talk about i mean this is also a controversial fragrance because not everybody likes this kind of fragrance it's strong unisex blood orange in there maison mikalef glamour guys this is one hell of a sexy fragrance the maison mikalef spiritual jumalon mare and tonka and as you can see it's the cologne intense but i'm almost <laughs> halfway through or if not halfway through already and it's a very good fragrance
it's velvet rose and oud it gives me slightly oud bouquet vibes but in a very strong manner bouquet ideal from Casa Morati. This is Lira by Casa Morati, and honestly, I feel like this fragrance is overhyped. Oud Bouquet, the original, because this fragrance is very pricey, so I just got like the 14 ml actually. Rose and Alba. This is very um, Arabian ish. Very, very Arabian. This is by Alexandre, I think. This is my absolute favorite. This is Boucheron Vanille de Zanzibar. I literally just got this in January, and guys, I do not regret one bit. This fragrance. Fragrance. Everyone wanted to know what I was wearing when I wore this fragrance. I'm telling you, it's just like massive sex appeal. Exclusive Dolce & Gabbana the one. I don't know what this write-up means. Is this something nice? I don't remember. But this is my biggest bottle size. But I think it's 150ml. And it was not that bad of a price. That's why I probably got the 150ml. This is Central Mimo Paris by Mimo Paris. Guys, if you know me, you know that this fragrance, ooh, this fragrance does wonders. I took it to Nigeria and boy i think i've shown all the fragrances in my collection i don't think i'm leaving anything out i know i have a touch as well is in the bathroom it's not really a lot right it's not as much as i thought it was because i've literally gone through everything but this video is going to be very very long but guys this is my full collection and of course i'm hoping to add more to the collection of course because i've almost run out of some of them that i showed you guys here so i think i'm just going to use them up and then you know top up you know <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't so boring. If you love fragrances, then this is the channel you would like. This is the channel for you, okay? Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it to your friends and your loved ones. I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.